Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing something very different to what I usually do on my channel, something I've never done here before on my channel, although I have done it before in private readings. Um, I've been reflecting a lot recently and Spirit has also during that time really supported me and guided me um, and helped me to realise that I'm not using my gifts to their full potential. Um, so obviously I can read energy for the collective, for individuals um, and I can also channel um, spirits from the other side. I've done this before successfully. Um, it is quite draining so it's not something I do a lot. Um, it's not something I'm doing at the moment in private readings at all. Um, but today I've been working up to doing this particular channeling and this is related to Madeleine McCann. Now I'm sure a lot of you have heard of her. Um, it's an international story about a three-year-old girl called Madeline or Maddie who went missing on the 3rd of May 2007 in Praia da Luz, Portugal. She was there on holiday with her parents and her two siblings. Um, various reports have been made around the world, you know, there's been a lot of press related to this case. And what you've got to ask yourself is why was so much money pumped into this particular case when thousands of children around the world go missing every day. You know, I see it on various social media at times, um, people posting, you know, about this sort of thing. But this case has just, you know, continued and continued for a long time. Um, there's not really been any concrete results. The case is still open essentially and we see the parents a lot in the press um, and you know I have my own beliefs on that I'm sure a lot of you do as well on what happened potentially um, but I've, I've also something I felt whenever I've you know I'm not one to, to watch the news and look at the press a lot that's not me, but when I have seen footage, I've seen some videos, I've seen reports, it really feels to me like this has become a press campaign for the parents. I've got to, you know, just, just say that. Um, it's my view. You don't have to believe that if you don't want to. Um, but what I'm trying to get at here is, and why I'm doing this channeling today, is that I've never felt it's been about Maddie. You know, she was so young. Obviously, we see, we've seen her pictures. You know, she's, she's well known. Um, but it's always been about the story, the people, you know. And I'm, I'm sort of thinking, what about Maddie? So today, my main aim during this reading is to give Maddie a voice. Um, I've got shivers at the moment, so I'm, I'm definitely sort of picking up on her energy already. I've already been connecting with her a few times. She has a really beautiful energy. Um, and she, she kept showing me an image, um, yesterday in particular, she kept wanting to, me to um, look at unicorns as I was connecting with her. Um, and there's a deck actually, it's a few decks, 
um, that have got unicorns, you know, throughout the deck. So I'm, I'm sort of drawn to getting one of those. Unfortunately, I don't have any decks like that. Um, but I do have, and I remembered that in this deck, um, I have this image on a card of a young girl with a unicorn. This is kind of what I was seeing. It's amazing, so I thought I must pull this card out and have a look. Um, so I feel that she's been, because from my channeling, um, I'm sensing that she's now in another realm. Okay, just want to put that out there again. That's my feeling. Take what you will from this. And she's got a unicorn in particular that's always with her, protecting her, helping her to heal. She was telling me she's been healing. She's still healing. You see, we've got a rainbow there in the distance showing she's protected and blessed. Flowers here around her. She likes flowers, so she wanted me to leave these flowers out here on the table. She tells me she likes pink, so I was glad they were pink. Um, she's very grateful for everyone who has supported her here in the 3D um, and sent her love. She feels that. So it's interesting, this card says gratitude and appreciation. Um, and the number is 46, breaking down to a 10, which then breaks down to a 1. So this is showing that this case will end and there'll be a new beginning for Maddie. Um, because something also that I'm really getting from her energy is she's kind of stuck. She's, she's in this other realm. She's been healing um, during that time, but she's still kind of stuck to like let's say this case this whole story it's not ended obviously it's still an open case so it just means that her spirit is is kind of stuck you know we sometimes hear that about spirits that we feel here around us sometimes and that's sometimes because they're stuck there's something that needs to be resolved or you know ended healed whatever whatever that may be so i also pulled i've twice now pulled some cards asking what the end result could be of this case and it's interesting that both times i got the justice and the sun card which is showing a positive outcome justice will be served. This speaks about a legal case which takes place. Justice for Maddie. And then it's really interesting that Spirit drew me to this card in this deck, the son. We've got this young lady who I'm seeing as Maddie now um, because I just wanted to say as well happy birthday to Maddie um, I've posted this video today for a reason because the 12th of May is her birthday and look at the imagery you know this tells us something as well it's showing her very spiritually enlightened and here it's like she's free. So this justice frees her soul fully. She's able to move on, move forward. It's also very interesting, the number of the sun is 19 and that's how old she would be today. 
Um, so something around justice when she's 19, you know, which is now. So I'm just feeling this is a very pertinent time for me to be doing this reading. I've been guided to do it for a reason. Um, so, you know, take what you will from this. As I said, I'm not here to um, try and implicate anyone or anything like that. Um, this is more about Maddie, but we will look at the case um, a in a little bit more detail later on as well. We'll get some more cards. But for now, I'm just going to tune into Maddie's energy. Okay, so bear with me because I'm doing this sort of, you know, live. I'm not pausing the camera or anything. Um, so it may take a while. Just going to see if I get any images come through, first of all. Ah, yes. Right, so she's immediately shown me water. It's interesting in this image. This almost looks like water here behind her. I'm not sure if it is, but that's what I'm seeing. Um, and I've just remembered that when I channeled connected with her the other day she kept showing me the sea it was really prominent in my mind so there's something there about the sea um, I do feel this is linked to where her physical body is Um, near water or in water anyway that's that's really what I keep getting So anything else, Maddie, that you want to show me in a vision? Okay, I'm seeing something, yeah, something happened to her, obviously. Um, but it was... It was like unexpected. Um, I don't feel it was something premeditated. It took everyone by surprise. Yeah, um, there's more than one person involved here. So we're going to come back to Maddie again, because I really, as I said, I really just want to give her a voice, whatever she wants to say in this reading, I'm going to share it. Um, now she's guided me to a few things. Um, this deck is one. Uh, okay, wow. That's amazing the way this has happened. As you've seen, I, I pulled that up, and there's a card here. And this wasn't planned, by the way. Um, I was I was about to pick it up and, and shuffle. Um, wow, look at the colours here. And we've got number 11. The number of justice. Wow. And this is sort of reminded me of this image, the freedom. Yeah, see, she's got a wing. I 
Okay, what she's wanting to tell me here is like she's taken a lot of um, spirits under her wing because we can see them here. Um, let's see what I can see. Seeing a bird. An ank. There's a house. And an angel. Okay, she's telling me that she protects children in particular. Um, in spirit form. In particular situations in the home. Wow. She watches over um, children because there's a limit to what spirits can do, you know, because of universal law. She's very connected with animals. Ah, I've just remembered something else. Wow. Because um, spirit channels in very mysterious ways with us all, as a lot of you will know. Um, I've just noticed this person with a mask here. And this morning, before doing this reading, um, I looked out my front window because I was just meditating and um, connecting and there was a mask outside my front door. You know, a disposable mask, you know. Um, and then it blew away. So the message I was really channeling there was the mask will come off in terms of this case things will come to light and we're kind of seeing it here. There's this lady here breaking free who I'm seeing is Maddie. Wow, and there's water here. Again, there's, there's a link to water. Okay, so I'm gonna now pull another card. Also the moon, there's something, yeah, something happened at night, at night time. Um, yes, I've just remembered, you can tell I'm not really prepared <laughs> um, for this reading, as in I've not written things down, I'm just doing it all. This is how I like to do it, organic, whatever comes through. And then I'm reminded of things she's told me. Um, she also kept highlighting dogs. She was saying guide dogs, guide dogs. Um, and I have seen footage, again I don't know what you've seen, the viewer, but you can always go off and research things on this case, but I have seen footage of the cadaver dogs that were brought over from the UK to Portugal and taken into the apartment where Maddie went missing and they smelt death, essentially, in various locations in the apartment, um, in the boot of the hire car that the parents had, on her cat, she had a you know cuddly toy cat, also, when I saw a photo, before I knew this, um, I saw the footage, before I saw rather the footage of the, the dogs, I saw footage of the living room of that apartment and I immediately felt I couldn't breathe. So I felt something happened in that apartment. Someone lost their life. 
and I also was very drawn to the left side of the picture near the window. I just kept looking over there, I thought something happened over there and that is a place that the dogs highlighted. Um, it was after this feeling that I had that I saw this. So I agree with the dogs. Dogs don't lie, as a lot of you know. Humans do. Dogs don't lie. I, I trust those dogs. Check out the footage and you'll see. Um, and then the parents, you know, are very defensive on camera and they've said those dogs aren't reliable. The dogs that we used have had like a really good track record in crime cases. So anyway, take what you will from that. But she's she's telling me the yeah, she was telling me the dogs. I've got shivers here, well. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I've got shivers again because look at the water. The ocean, the sea, and she's coming out of the sea here. Breakthrough. Wow. And the butterflies for transformation. There's, there's going to be a transformation and a breakthrough in this case. Maddie will be freed, as we're seeing here. You know, it could even be that something is found. Because here, notice how she's like coming out of the sea. You know, her remains. Something comes out of the sea and it completely changes, turns around this case. She's able then, she's been spiritually growing already. Just want to put that out there. Although she was three years old, she's an old soul, by the way. But this helps her to evolve even more. We've got number eight, number of the strength card, which is Leo. That's interesting, we've got Leo. Leo Libra has come out. Could be over the summer. I mean, take what you will from that. Um, She's telling me, fly free. Yeah, like her spirit will fly free. She's waited a long time for this. Yeah, okay, she's also showing me the butterflies here as being like all the pieces of the puzzle. that are put together um, to solve this. This will be solved. Wow, that, that blew me away. Um, okay, so she's showing me this card. The bottom of the deck, we've got 22 master number which is showing two people potentially involved somehow um, either involved in what happened or are involved in this justice
I'm not going to say too much on what I've channeled in terms of how this is resolved. Um, but there is potentially someone here who helps in this case. They take a bit of a risk. So this person's on this very thin web but there's you know the web there to catch them i'm seeing this is the web of lies she, yeah she's saying web of lies there have been many lies um over the years over these 19 years secrets have been kept by various individuals people that know what happened quite dark energies, I've got to say. But see, this person is like shining the light. They've got a wand. They turn this around. Yeah, they, they create this breakthrough. And we've got butterflies again. Symbol of change. I'm see, see, it's interesting the way we're shown things. I'm seeing this as the bottom of the sea. This is how she's showing it to me. Yeah. There are secrets at the bottom of the sea. But then it could be spirit, you know. Something is brought to the surface. So interesting, I can hear a dog barking. So dogs, again, yeah, dogs may feature somehow in then helping with this, but um, all the evidence, you know, that the dogs brought. Okay, so Maddie also, before this channeling, um, was very taken by these golden tickets that I have. Um, they've all got a word on them. I've used them before on my channel, keyword. So we're just going to see what comes out and what Maddie wants to say. This is all about her having a voice, as we know. Okay, that one's flipped over. Okay, let's take those. So we've got boundaries. I'll do them one by one because I want to really channel each word. So what do you want to say, Maddie, about boundaries? She's saying there's a limit to what we all know. Things have been covered up. Sorry everyone, the video just stopped there because um, it had reached 
the limit. Um, so I've come back on straight away. So we were talking about boundaries. Um, yeah, I keep hearing secrets. So, you know, limits in terms of what's shared, what's spoken about. Okay, Maddie's really highlighting though um, here with boundaries. Well, I've just got shivers here. Um, you know, like land boundaries. The boundary between land and sea. Yeah, she, she's again, she's highlighting the area. Certain, there are certain boundary, there's, you know, a boundary as an area um, in particular in the sea. Yeah, she, she's, she's highlighting this picture. Okay, I would need a map to be able to, you know, go into more detail with that. Um, something I could do, potentially, you know, if anyone wanted to, wanted my help in this, um, in this case. Right, now this, this word has really stood out, serendipity. Um, again, back to that, what Maddie said before about something happening, something happened unexpectedly, first of all, but she's now saying that that links to how this is uncovered. There's some serendipity. Um, I'm, I'm feeling nature is involved here. Is that right, Maddie? Yeah. Nature, the divine. There, there's a specific time when this happens. Um, it's all written in the stars. And this was meant to happen, by the way. Maddie knows this. She, she came here for a reason to this earthly realm. Okay, so a chance event. We need to have patience. She's also highlighting here the patience she's needed, you know, over the years here, 19 years. Because she knows the outcome as well. You know, I know the outcome because I trust my guides and, and what I feel. Um, In, in that realm, you know, the spiritual realm, for those of you that sort of don't know much about this, um, they're able to sort of reflect on the past, go back in time, go forward in time, or just be, just be there, you know, and heal and do what they need to do. So, yeah, Maddie knows the outcome already. She's known for years. Um, yeah, in her heart. Now, with the heart, she's she's saying again that sort of gratitude that she has for those that have held her in their heart, who don't even know her, you know, who never met her. Um, she's very grateful for that. You've all helped her in her healing. She's saying, "Wow." 
I've got shivers so much during this during this reading because she she's got such a beautiful energy and she's saying that she's sending us all her love. She's fine. She's okay. She's saying she's really been healing her heart. Because there was pain. It's something I have picked up on. There, there was um, some pain. Betrayal. She's telling me betrayal. But she's forgiven. Okay, it's interesting, passion, we've got passion, and it's just below justice, and she's saying that's there for a reason. Um, the passion that will go into this case, and heart, it's going to be someone very compassionate who gets involved here, who's, in, who's involved in bringing justice to this case. A light worker, she's saying. They put all their heart and passion into it. Wow. That's amazing. Some are very stable, fair minded. She's also here saying about the passion she has to bring justice to the world. Um, yeah, because this case, as I said, happened for a reason. To highlight the other terrible things, you know, that go on every day. Abuse, um, child abduction, and other things. Um, because something I, I forgot to mention at the beginning was that um, Maddie was left alone that night with her, her and her siblings while the parents went down to dinner in the holiday resort. And take what you will from that in terms of your opinion, but I, I feel that's abuse leaving any underage child alone. Anything could happen. You know, something did happen. So I do... partly, you know, I'm not going to say too much here, but partly blame the parents for that. Why weren't they there caring for their child? You know, that's neglect. And that's what... Also, what Maddie's saying, she's healed from. You know, she's forgiven for that. But yeah, that kind of thing happens. She's saying here that, that it happens every day. She sees it because she's in spirit form. And she's protecting all of these children, um, watching over them. Yeah, take them under her, her wing in the spiritual realm as well, like we had here. So other children who've had, you know, similar sort of instances. Um, and she's, she's like a guardian. It's beautiful. She's very passionate about this, about doing this. Wow, Maddie. You're amazing. I just want to say that, give that platform and stage to you here today we thank you she's saying she thanks us too she's thanking me here for for giving her a voice wow okay we've got videos 
that's come out. And it's so interesting, I was talking about the footage of the dogs. Yeah, she's, she's, again, that's why dogs, she's really highlighting dogs. That's going to be used as part of the evidence in this case. Along with whatever else, you know, they find. There are some videos. Video footage. It's all online. You, you know, just Google it. You'll, you'll see it. Yeah, we're definitely getting evidence here with videos coming through. She's saying that there are some, there's some other evidence as well that's on video. Okay, so something something else here is is found uncovered. I don't want to go too much into detail here, but it's it's linked to some footage of Maddie. Um, she's saying there are clues in some of this footage. She's saying grooming. Okay, I've got to, I'm just going to, you know, I'm not going to censor what comes through here. She's saying grooming. This is quite heavy. Things will be analysed. getting guilt come she's telling me this is really heavy what's coming through here there's a lot of guilt or you know there's there's guilt already um, and more than one person feels this guilt. Okay, she's also saying with videos that this will be public, this justice. Um, so maybe they're going to televise the court case, you know, like they've been doing with the Johnny Depp case recently, in other cases. So the public form their own opinion as well and see this justice happen that, you know, so many want as well. Okay, so... Thank you, Maddie, once again. I'm just going to move all of these out of the way. Um, put these cards back in the deck and pull some cards. So I'm now connecting with my spirit guides. And I just want to ask again. I was going to, you know, ask the outcome, <laughs> you know, of this case. Um, 
the cards just came out now wow okay now you can all see the cards here okay um I'm just going to pull them out. Three of Pentacles. Emperor. That was with the Page of Cups. And the Empress. Hierophant. Now that's Maddie's star sign. Taurus. See here, the liberation, the ascension, as I was saying. She grows. Okay, there's one more card here that was around the emperor. And strength, number eight. Okay, these are the cards. So we've, you know, again, we've got 10 that's come out. A completion. This, this case ends. And again, someone is freed. You know, this is, this is Maddie. It's beautiful. In her older self. Um, just wanted to say something else about channeling, by the way. Because um, I've seen her in different forms. With spirit. Um... You'll sometimes see them like older, younger, and sometimes in like different forms. And I've seen her younger. I've also seen her as this sort of young adult, and she's beautiful, you know. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there in case some of you were wondering about that. Um, now notice the imagery here. This boat. And there's one person in that boat moving on. So same imagery, you know, this this ends and Maddie I feel can move move forward. We've got spirit here pulling this boat, moving it forward. Okay, we've got three energies there. So, my guides are saying there's three, three people in particular who are implicated here. We've got the C. So, someone that goes out to sea, or they come in to shore, and something is found. There's something potentially that could be found. Now it could be that it's found randomly, you know, this serendipity, or that someone goes out in a boat, you know, to search. Okay, so those of you that know Tarot will know that the Emperor Empress are the parents. Um, amazing the way that happened. We've got the parents, we've got three again. So without saying too much, um, I'm, I'm, this is what's coming through, you're seeing it here. The parents are somehow implicated and there's someone else as well. Or they knew something. Something I've always felt is, you know, that they've covered something up. We've got the Page of Cups that was next to the Emperor and the Page of Cups 
speaks of an apology. I have strongly felt guilt come from the father's energy. Um, again, whatever that links to, you know, because it could be from just knowing something. Um, I'm not going to say anything else on that, but notice the C in the image. Wow, I mean, you can't make this up. I was guided to use this deck for a reason. Here's someone being lifted up, like lifted out of the water. The page can be, you know, a child um, as well. Now, we've also got the Page of Swords, which has come out a few times in my channelings as well. And this speaks of spying, you know, learning something. Finding, you know, something comes to light. The book is open. The book's been closed for a long time. And things come to light. And we've got two energies there. Now this really links again with something that came through in my channeling. The pages. Um can indicate children, as I said, but they have two other children, they have twins, who are Aquarius, I believe, yeah, Page of Swords is, is uh, air, air sign. I'm getting the same message that I got in my channelings here. Um, potentially, something comes out, something is like a slip up. It could be here, this guilt that comes out, that's expressed. And the book is open. Information is discovered. Could be overheard, could be in conversation. And with strength, I'm feeling that you know, this is going to be quite difficult, potentially, for this person. Let's just be quite neutral here, because um, it might not be the child, but they're going to need to find the strength to do something about what they find. But you see, we've got quite a lot of energies. We've got a knight here as well. Um, okay, they're telling me doctor here. There's a doctor. Potentially involved. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a doctor that was involved. in the past. Yeah. Um, okay, again, this is heavy, heavy energy. Okay, everyone, I'm back again. Um, this time it was my battery that went dead. Um, but I'm also seeing that as quite interesting in terms of what I was just about to say there. And the way the camera just cut out um, because as I said this this is heavy energy I feel that happened for a few reasons one was for me to just ground myself you know the divine wants that but um could also be you know what I was feeling um, that this energy doesn't want me to share it you know basically um Potentially. The Knight of Cups is usually a romantic energy. I 
And there's a few things I'm seeing here, um, with it being near the Empress, could be, you know, there was someone else involved with her. She was involved with, you know. Um, I'm just giving scenarios here. I'm not saying this is the truth for anyone who's trying to, who, who might want to say I'm accusing or whatever. No, I'm just telling you the energies coming through. But this links with the grooming that came through before. Um, I've got to put that out there. I don't like this energy that I'm feeling. Wow, yeah, it, it's... I can't, I can't linger too much there, um, but some, there's some quite dark energy in this person. This is a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we've got the page, yeah. Strong water in someone's chart. Air, Leo, again. Aries, Libra, Taurus, but it's more the energies. Um, yeah, there's someone here This is like so hard to to say. Um, I've, I've got tears coming to my eyes. There's other things that were going on. Um, I saw a vision of it as well. I was shown a vision and it made me cry. So I, I, I can't linger too much in this, but yeah, they keep saying ring, you see. They keep making me do this, ring. I'm sure you can all deduce what that means. And you can see it from the cards. Wow, my heart is really heavy because this is like horrible what I'm seeing and I've gone very hot which is, yeah, it's showing like a very dark, dark energy, dark energy. Okay, so I don't, I don't want to linger there, um, but you can see what's come out. Um, yeah, you see, there we go. Lies, betrayal, cheating. A hermit. And it's interesting, wow, it's interesting in this card. She's got pyjamas on. And the hermit can, you know, it's about someone being in their own energy, going within. Um, but I'm seeing this is in the home. Secrets in the home in relation to this case, to what happened. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, seeing as the mother here. The mother I've always felt 
even from footage, if you watch, you'll see. You don't need to be a body language expert to see that her energy is very cold, doesn't give off a lot of emotions. Um, I just have often felt there's something being hidden there. But we've got the full starting again. This is, you know, again, like Maddie, free. Justice. Notice the circles. Same message coming through. Lots of, wow, there's like lots of different stories involved here. Um, it's so, it's so complex. And we've got the C again. Wow, now this is linking to something else that Maddie showed me in an image of someone being thrown from a cliff. Take what you will there, you know, and it's her star sign here. But I'm just seeing here, you know, these lies coming to light. New beginning. We're also seeing here someone holding a crystal. Um, and the image they're showing me again is something, yeah, you see it's linked to the sea. We've got a line coming down here to the sea. Something that's potentially retrieved. Could just be an item. And it opens this up again with the full first card of the Major Arcana. It opens everything up. Okay. Wow. Um, that got pretty heavy there. Um, so I'm not really going to go any further with this today. Um, but I can see why I was guided to do this. Um, take what you will from it. Do your own research. Make your own conclusions. My main aim, as you saw, was to give a voice to Maddie, which I feel that I did. So I'm really glad that I did that. Happy birthday to Maddie. And may justice come soon for you. So thank you everyone for being here, for watching. Um, comments will be moderated for this video. So be mindful in terms of what you say. And feel free to share, you know, but um, just so I put that out there. So sending peace, love and light to you all.